السلام عليكم صباح الخير مساء الخير So here is our verb conjugation using jama'a that was a homework that we have shared with you recently let's wait for a few people so we can learn these verbs um, in the last live we have studied how we can conjugate simple arabic verbs and difficult arabic verbs but we were also introduced to the roots how we can define roots over here i have jama'a ishtama'a and istijma'a ahlan jajik so let's wait for a few people to join us and then we can we can learn this together and how we can conjugate them also identify the meaning we have shared um root which is jim mim a ja ma a and if you know the meaning of jama you can just insert it in the live chat let me see how many of you are live with us yalla inshallah jijik Jamil, let me just get ready as well so I can read your your words. And if you've done your homework, how many of you were able to determine the meaning of jama'a, ishtama'a, and istijma'a? We have them over here as the, the selection we've placed is only gather, and you had to define which one was gather. Um, the shared meaning is gather, but jama'a, ishtama'a, istijma'a. Together, collect, and here, meet ishtama, and put, and we're going to learn what we put together, um, and that's istijma. Have you found similar meanings when we, when we introduced these verbs to you in the live chat last time? And I'll just pull out the chat so I can see everyone's. So let's wait for a few people to join us. Ahlan Kevin, Sabah al Khair, Ojijik, Mir Insha Yusuf Mumtaz. So when we say Jama'a, Jama'a, it's always um, about something that we put together. We could say Jama'a Nas, uh, he gathered people. Jama'a um, Shay, something. Jama'a Fulusa, Jama'a Amwala. Um, Jama'a, over here we have. Jama'a jiranahu fi bayti. Jama'a jiranahu fi bayti. And what we have here is jiranahu. If this is your first time, first time learning about Arabic verbs, all of the examples we included today, they are in the third person masculine. Third person masculine, meaning he did something in the past. And when we say collect, um, something like mm, Jama'a um, Jama'a Kutubahu He collected his uh, books and I can also say he piled up his books he put the books together all of this would mean piling up, collecting uh, aligning, merging all of those meanings even assembling all of those can be shared with uh, the first verb in Arabic, jama'a. And then we have ishtama'a. The form of jama'a is different because jama'a rhymes with fa'ala, which is form one in Arabic. There are about 10 different forms. And we have jama'a as fa'ala, kataba, darsa, kharaja, uh, fataha. All of those verbs are in the first form, which is fatha, fatha, fatha. When I say first form, you have fatha over here. You have fathan again, and you have fatha. You also can have, you can also have a kasra on the second um, letter over here. Let's say shariba, for instance, to drink shariba. You can have um, kasra on the ra. If I say ishtama, that includes so many people, and it rhymes with ifta'ala, and I can say. Um, people gathered or met together. The um, employees met together. And it has to do with ishtima. Even the noun changes. The gerund is completely different. Jama'a, the gerund would be jama. And ishtama, the gerund would be ishtima. And istijma. 
istijma. This one, it has to do with you putting something together. You could say istijma afkara. He collected, he put his thoughts together to respond to a question. Istijma afkarahu liradi ala. Arrad, and here this has shadda over here. Liradi, and I'm saying liradi because there is lam over here as a preposition of place. So you respond to someone, you respond to something, and we also have to say the gerund over here. If I don't want to use a gerund, I can say I have to conjugate the verb respond. Um, so this has to do with istijma. I can also say he put his strength together. Um, um, so he took a moment. It's more of ta'amala. If you remember the verb ta'amala, uh, you meditate, you contemplate. But this one, you take a pause. You pause and you istijma. Istijma He put his strength together. He gathered his strength. Istijma uh, afkara. He gathered his thoughts. And then we have in the first one, ishtama. Second one, jama. And the third one, istijma. The bonus verb that we're learning is ajma. Ajma has an alif. I'm not sure if you can see it. And we're going to conjugate these verbs in a bit. Ajma means to agree. We say ajma'a ala, a group of people, ajma'u ala, and nas, or ajma'a nas ala, they all agreed to do something. And this has an alif as part of the verb. It's not I, it's not any verb conjugation. These are all infinitive, third person. So let's see how many of you can put these verbs. We have three and the bonus one. Wahid, ithnan, thalatha. And then arba. We have jama, ishtama, istajma, and ajma. Let's see your examples. Jama. Here we go. Ajtama. M. This is a third person, masculine. So if I'm going to say, I gather, there is something that I have to change. And here I'm going to conjugate it. Like we learned before, you have to determine the I and you have to determine at least one third person. Uh, we could, in this case, we could say, hey, let's use he, she. I hope nothing falls. <laughs> For Anna, if I'm going to say the present tense, the present, there we go. If I'm going to say the present tense, it's going to be different than the past tense. So both of, just one verb, I will put, let's see how many verbs we have. We have about four. Okay, we can just do it like that. And let me get another color. I think I have colors over here. Okay. The present tense, if I say, I have to place the verb conjugation at the beginning. And I say, and you see how I put sukun. Ajma'u, ajma'u, hiya tajma'u, I'll make it smaller, tajma'u, she gathers. If I'm going to say the past, and let me see if you can see it here, yeah, you can, okay. If I'm going to say the past, the conjugation has to be over here, and there is no alif in the verb, so I do not include it here. I have to say, jama'atu, I gathered. Jama'atu, jama'atu. And this is the two part that tells me it's a me, it's the speaker, it's I who is speaking. Al-mutakallim. If I'm going to say, hiya tajma'u, the past will be hiya jama'at. You see what I'm doing over here? I'm keeping the infinitive. Fatha, fatha, fatha. 
فتحة 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 here فتحة فتحة and I, I have to put سكون because it's so difficult for me to say جماعته I have to pause before I say to so this would be أنا أجمع في الماضي in the past أنا جمعت هي تجمع هي جمعت and I do the exact same thing for I and she these are the only two if I if I master a speaker and an absent, and I can also add an addressee if I'm talking to someone, but I would just stick to these two because it's always difficult to determine the I and the he or she. If we master these, we should be able to transition to other subject pronouns. So now the other verb I will go for ishtama, and I'll say ana, ana. I'll take your questions if jamaat al muallimat tulab mantas. Um, I see that. Lawal, she put jamaat and mu'allim al-tullab. Mumtaz. And this would be she gathered. The teacher gathered the students. And I have to put alif lam. Over here, I have to say, ana, ana, hmm, ijtama'atu. I'll just put it over here. Ij, oh, it's the present tense. Never mind. I have to say, ajtama'u, because it's the present tense. In the present tense, I have to say, ah. And in the past, I have to say That's the past part. I always tend to start with the past for some reason. This verb has to have a preposition. You must say I, I met with someone. Let's say, and let me know if the color is clear. If not, I can change it. So over here, I will say something like, um, let me move the board over here a bit so you can see. Okay. Um, here. Here, تجتمع. She meets with. Here, تجتمع. And this is like all the time. هي تجتمع بي هي اجتمع I'm keeping the infinitive اجتمع and I'm adding the feminine اجتمعت اجتمعت and then I'll go for اجتمع okay استجمع so we have جمع اجتمع and then استجمع and I'll start with I and she so estejmeo for I in the present tense we always stick to a uh, the the fatha can change depending on the size of the verb the form of the verb so now I'm putting fatha doesn't mean all the verbs have to have fatha not all of them so I would go like estejmeo oh estejmeo qiwaya I put or I gather my strength. And this has to do with an inner power. <laughs> it could be thoughts, uh, power, um, your soul, yourself. Like put yourself together sometimes. You would say, And there is no preposition over here. Also, أجمعوا there's no preposition over here. Only you have to say b or ma mm, or ishtama'ala to gather around. You could use different prepositions over here. Now we're going to she and here testajmiu. She puts together testajmiu. And again, testajmiu qiwaha. Her, like here, his thoughts, she will be her thoughts. تستجمعوا أفكارها. If I'm going to put the past, all I have to do is I say استجمعتو. I keep the verb as it is. استجمع. And then دعين, I have to put سكون before I indicate the two. استجمعتو. استجمعتو. استجمعت قواية هي 
which is the easy part. All you do is you keep the infinitive. Is ta, j, ma, a, and you indicate the t. Istajmat, istajmat. So over here you have at, sukun, dhamma, fatha, sukun, sukun, dhamma, fatha, sukun. Sukun dhamma. You have the exact same pattern. You move on to ajma'ala. They all agreed, gathered on um, around the same decision. And you would say ajma'ala. They agreed. And mm, ana, this verb has an elf. Because it has an elf, I have to put dhamma. Like أكمل أكمل أجمع أجمع أعطى أعطي all the verbs that have ألف as part of of the root. Um, let's see if you see it now. I could say أجمع أنا أجمع على على شيء. You have to put على. هي تجمع. Now you get rid of the the ألف and you put to. هي تجمع Again, على Once I move to the past tense, I need to keep the infinitive. Then I would say أجمعتو And the preposition always, you have to put it past or present, doesn't matter. أجمعتو هي أجمعت Again, same thing, you put a preposition. So, أجمعتو وأجمعت. أجمعتو وأجمعت. Now, let's form our sentences. <laughs> يلا. أستجمع أفكار اليوم. صحيح جيجيك. أستجمع أفكار اليوم. جماعة المعلمة الطلاب. So, if I'm putting um, الطلاب as an object, I need to identify the student. So, I would say... جمعت المعلمة الطلاب جميل جدا يلا شباب let's see how many of you can at least form one sentence using either جمع اجتمع or استجمع difficult words all you have to remember that you need to place this one است like استكشف استقبل it rhymes استحضر he remembered he recalled to, to recall is استحضر استحضر um, استيقظ to wake up so let's see how many of you can at least form one sentence using either جمع اجتمع or استجمع or اجمع على or what you could do is come up with verbs that rhyme with these four verbs that we have selected for today we could say جمع rhymes with what اجتمع rhymes with what? When I say rhyme, it means they all share the exact same short cases. So let's see how many of you will be able to share that with us. استجمع أفكار اليوم صحيح. I'll read the examples again and you can read them out loud if you are a, in the beginner level so you can articulate the sounds. اجتمع أهل المدينة the residents or the owners or the people of the city gathered or they met. اجتمع. جمع جيرانه في بيته. He gathered his neighbors in his house. He جمع. جيرانه his neighbors في بيته in his house. استجمع 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 he again. أفكاره his thoughts. لِلرَّدِّ In order to respond. عَلَى You need a preposition over here. And of course you state what do you want to respond to. A person, an answer, question, something. So you have to define here and now. أجمع على أجمع على الذهاب إلى على السفر. There you go. أجمع على السفر. He decided. He um, made a final decision and also he agreed to travel. أجمع على السفر. You can also mean to make a decision. قرر. 
or to um, agree on doing something. Mm. If I'm going to say if you put that's a great example, Jujik. If you put kasra over here, you're going to switch from saying I agree, gather, or I collect. Like I gather people, uh, meaning like, or I pile something up. I say ajmiru, ajmiru. Yamin jama, jama yajmiru, ajmiru. Sometimes people would say yajmiru, jama yajmiru, ana ajmiru. Something. So I gather something. So make sure here you see the fatha over here in the dialect. You might have kasra over here. Um, like I'm trying to to remember how we would say it in Moroccan dialect. Um, so we do kanajma. We put the verb conjugation at the beginning as ka for I. So we say kanajma as I gather or I collect or I pile up. And then we do place the fatha on the meme when you say kanajma, I gather. Uh, which is completely different dialect because the verb conjugation in Moroccan dialect you start with ka instead of a. So you say kanajma, kan, as I do something. Astaghfiru um, al lillah al abad. Jayid. Shukran. Okay, Jayid Jijik. So ajma'u ala al tahaduthi bi lutfi ma al atfal. أجمعوا على التحدث أقرروا I agree uh, and then I decide to talk into kids kindly بلطف جميل مثال جميل يا جيجيك أحسنتي يلا يا شباب أمثلة أخرى من يستطيع أن يركب جملة فيها يا إما فعل مع أو فعل اجتمع أو فعل استجمع يلا لنرى let's see how many of you will form at least one sentence Yalla ya shabab. And if you like this verb conjugation, we can give you a new set because the other verbs we put in the category are, and I can put them over here so we can conjugate them as well. Um, it's abbara, abbara, wa i'tabara. Now, abbara, wa abbara, wa i'tabara, wa abr. There are actually four. So here, I'm going to put a new set of verbs so we can keep this. I'll just take a picture of this part so I can send it to you on the community page. Um, and as soon as I'm done with this part, you can think about your verbs or your examples using these verbs. The other set we have put in the community this is very important to remember the root, the root system. So you can either think about forming sentences using these or join me now to define a new set of verbs. Last time we learned keshafa, ktashafa, wastekshafa. Keshafa as um, uncover, ktashafa as discover, wastekshafa as explore. But we also thought that we could share another set, which we have covered in one of our classes. Mm, let's see if that's clear again. Okay. We have abara. I'll let you define this one. Abara. Abra. And I'll give you the fourth one, which is my favorite bonus one. And i'tabara. What is the meaning of abara? And to help you, this is a verb. Verb, verb. This is not a verb. It's a preposition of place. And this is a verb. Abara, abara, abr, or abra. I can say abra or abr. And then, i'tabara. Let's see.
So let's see how many of you can give me the meaning of abara, abara, abra, wa i'tabara. Yeah. Now I'll wait for you to think about your examples. Abara, Abara, Abra, wa Abara. So when you think about Abara, Abara is to cross. Abara Shara, he crossed the street. Abara to express. And you have to put a preposition like shared um, expressions or expressed around a topics. Uh, he expressed his opinion. Abra is through something. Oh, I have to check my English spelling. Here we go. Through Abr al Jisr, through the bridge or via, if you think about Abr al Email, through email or by email. And you could also think about it as by, via, or through Abra. I'atabara to consider. So I could say, Yu'atabara, it is considered. Yu'atabara. And the it, يعتبروا مسجد الحسن الثاني. So if I'm thinking about Hassan the second mosque, since I am in Al-Maghrib. يعتبروا مسجد الحسن الثاني. And I can give information. أكبر مسجد في شمال أفريقيا. But when I'm using as the biggest uh, mosque in North Africa, if I'm... And you, it's because I'm using message it over here. If I'm using two, تعتبروا جامعة القرويين. The University of Qarawain, القرويين here. Because I'm using two, two, it's related to the feminine noun or object that's considered, which is university in this case. تعتبروا جامعة Jamiat Harvard. Tatabaru Jamiat. The word Jamia itself is feminine, so you would state to at the beginning. And this one is to consider, to be considered, I should say. To consider and to be considered. To consider and to be considered. So give me an example where you could say Abara to cross. Abara Mada. He crossed Mada. And then we have abara to express abr through or via, and then we have i'tabara. Mumtaz, I sent a letter abr al barid al elektroni, sahih, by email. I sent a letter by email, so I would say abr al barid al elektroni. Jamil jiddan. Mada aydan. Uh, Ardan is saying لا بد لي أن أتعلم اللغة العربية بحماسة نعم أو بحماس صحيح جميل جدا okay let's see more examples يلا شباب you can either you have so many verbs you have جمع اجتمع استجمع أجمع then you have عبرة عبرة and اعتبرة about six verbs and one preposition well, more than six verbs. <laughs> you have about seven verbs. You have seven verbs and one preposition. Yeah. So, abara, wa abara, wa a'tabara. Jama'a, ijtama'a, wa stajma'a, wa ajma'a. Man yastati'u an yurakkiba jumal. Who can form sentences using either جمع اجتمع استجمع اجمع or عبرة عبرة اعتبرة اهلا صحيح استاذ فهد القحطاني يقول هو عابر هو عابر سبيل if someone is just crossing something 
This is a person who would be عابر. هو عابر. It's like it rhymes with طالب. طلبة طالب. Um, عبر عابر. Mm-hmm. زوجي. وعبر. Here is a good one. جيجيك is saying express. From your example, I could think that you're saying I express my emotions. Where I express my opinion to my husband or for my husband. So there is a person that is receiving your information. And you would say, So I could either say, I express to my husband about my opinion, which is totally the opposite of what you would say in English, but in Arabic you would organize it this way. وعبر لزوجي عن رأيي وعبر لزوجي عن رأيي وعبر عن um, حاسيسي I express my emotions, my feelings. ممتاز أعتبر زوجي I consider my husband. And this is one exam, one of the examples that we use in other classes when we got to know the meaning of ahem, important, the most important, and also muhim, um, and ihtimam. So we have muhim, ahem, ihtimam, totally different words that have to do with being um, important. So in this case, I could say, أعتبر زوجي. I consider my husband. أعتبر زوجي أهم شخص في حياتي. I consider my husband the most important person in my life. أعتبر أعتبر زوجي. أعتبر أبنائي. أعتبر أطفالي. أعتبر بلدي. I consider my country. أعتبر I consider my language to be. أعتبر لغتي أجمل لغة في العالم. صحيح. I do consider Arabic as the most beautiful language in, in the world. Alhamdulillah, it's beautiful. أعتبر. But every language is unique. <laughs> but just how you would express your opinion and your statements. صحيح. أبو خليل يقول الجسر الممتد عبر النهر. The extended bridge through the river. So this is a good statement, but al-jisr is bridge. Al-mumtad is an expression. It's a description to say extended or expanded. Imtadda, like something that is stretched or to stretch. Imtadda al-jisr or al-jisr al-mumtad abra nahar abra nahar through the river. Abra nahar شكرا أبو خليل شكرا آه شكرا أستاذ فهد شكرا جيجيك شكرا أبو خليل and okay let's see more examples يلا 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 شباب you can do it live typing in Arabic let's see if anyone I know is here أشرف if you can give us your example Shahib Zan, also. Mm -hmm. Jamil, yell. I'll just move to the side so you can write these words. At Tariq, sneak peek, Jamil. At Tariq, Ila Abur Turkiya. Great. At Tariq, Ila. So the way to a place, you have to mention the name of the place. الطريق إلى uh, another country. I, I can't think of the map right now. So الطريق إلى a country عبر تركيا through Turkey. صحيح. الطريق إلى جميل جدا. If you're stating إلى, you have to say uh, a country or a place. الطريق إلى المسجد عبر هذا ال عبر هذا الممر through this exit or through this alley. So you would say الطريق إلى. 
Um, now, Shukran Superstar. Let's see, Shukran Sneak Peek. That's a great example. So, a tariq ila a place abra. And I'm waiting for more examples. Naam, Jijik, attafiqu maak. Ana wa anti. Nujmilu ala. So, ajma, ajma, safwan. Nujmilu ala. Nujmilu ala. Anna al lugha al arabia ajma al lugha. Sahih, Jijik. Nahnu nujmilu ala. Anna al lugha al arabia ajma al lugha. Fanaqul nujmilu ala. Ajma'a yujma'u, agree or come to a final decision. Jameel. Yalla, let's see more examples. Yalla, shabab. We have about two more minutes before we end the live, so you can form sentences. Yumkinukum an turakibu juman fi daqiqatayn. Adhan. Adhan. I guess you can do it in two minutes, inshallah. I'll move to the side again so you can form your sentences. Whatever I see here, I think my live is coming late, so I don't see it quite instant. Maybe I have to wait until you form your sentences. Sahih. Um, so what we have here is modern standard Arabic, not dialect. Sahih. Modern standard Arabic. So I'll organize these one more time, and then since I mentioned aham and muhim, I can also put them here so you can add them to your word list. And remember that you have a place, you have you always have a place, a person, a noun, and sometimes an adjective that describe the action. So if I'm saying abra, for example, or abara, let's say abara, cross, I can say maba. A crossing or a way, ma'bar. I can say abir. I can say um, the beautiful thing about Arabic is even other words can share the meaning of crossing. Um, or you cross, or you you communicate your thoughts. If I should say abara ma'bar abir, and then we say abara. يُعَبِّرُ أنا أقول تعبير expressing تعبير We also have عبارة an expression عبارات expressions And then here we say عبر as by or through or via عبرة mm -hmm. What else we say? Oh yeah, the noun of عبرة is العبور I'll put it over here. Al Abur. This is the noun of Abara. Al Abur. And Abara al Tabir. Abar is a preposition of place. This is one set. The other set I mentioned is Muhim, important. I would say something like Hua or Atabiru Zoji. I consider my husband Zoji ibni a'ilati. Aham, aham, shaksin. I have to put a person. Aham, shaks, fi hayati, and you can add more. So here I'm saying a'tabiru. We can add it to this list, which is a'tabara, and the noun is a'tibar. A'tibar. So I can just keep it over here, but I will go for ahem. I say mohem, important, mohem. The most important is ahem. Mohemma is a mission. We say ihtimam, to take care of something. Ihtimam, caring, ihtimam. And we have ihtamma. I'm thinking about another word. Okay, and if I'm thinking about importance, I would say ahamia. So 
So I'll just write this one smaller. Mohimma, important, or mohim. Mohimma. But this one, it means mission. It could mean mohimma as important for mohim, the feminine form. But I could also say ahamiya. Importance, ahamiya. Ahamiya. Jameel jidda. Um, so let's look at other examples. Okay. More sentences? You're able to form more sentences? Ta'biruki mudhir shuddan. Shukran muhammad. Shukran jazilan. Jameel, ajmal. Haji naqul ajmal wa jameel. Mumtaz. Khalas. So idan, idan, these are great, um, sets of vocabulary. All you have to remember that you could group them by root. Over here, the root we have is jim, mim, ayn. Oh, this is not coming right. Over here, jim, mim, ayn. With a jim, mim, ayn. We also did ayn, ba, ra as the root. And we did mim, mim, ha, and mim. So we have learned about three different sets of or, or roots. The one that has ain ba ra, jim mim ain, mim ha mim. If you're familiar with the root system, you learn that the root system is the connection. It's it's the source of all different sets of words in Arabic. Literally, like you're thinking about um, a tree, you have the roots, you have the tree, you have the roots, and you have so many shared meanings the words have together. Even this word over here, muhimma, as a mission, because it's important, muhim, it is a mission, muhimma, and ahamiya, importance, ihtimam, to care about someone, so you show that the person is important to you, and also you use the verb ihtamma. Ahtammu li sha'nihi. I care about his matters. Ahtammu li sha'nihi. Ahtammu li sha'nihi. I think we're done for today. Let me see if you have any questions. Jameel jiddan. Ta'allum al-lugha al-arabiya muhim. Sahih yasnik. Fik sahih. Ta'allum al-lugha al-arabiya muhim. Learning Arabic is important. I care or I, I find importance in learning Arabic. So I care about learning Arabic. Um, Jameel Jaddan, I think, I think we're done. Yes, now. So that was all. I hope I didn't miss these. Let's see. Oh, I, I was playing the light really late. <laughs> okay. All right. Jameel Jiddan. Shukran lakum jamian. Thank you all. Shukran lakum jamian. And inshallah, we'll see you in upcoming um, sessions. All you have to remember that we learned today three different sets. How we can have the same root, but we have different patterns, different forms. And when we are building our sentences, we have to be mindful of which verb we are using, what tense we're using, which subject pronoun, who is the speaker, who are you talking to, and you keep identifying every single element of the sentence separately. The you, the he, the his, the verb, the noun. You literally put those small pieces together until you're able to form your sentence, inshallah. So, shukran jazeelan lakum and inshallah arakum fi um, hissas ukhra, inshallah. I'll see you in more sessions, inshallah, or other sessions. I use the, the word ukhra. Hissas ukhra. Hissas ukhra. Ya Allah, ma'as ya shabab. Ma'as